we will walk through a detailed demo of operation for the Midas Micro. In this video, we will test a two-winding transformer. All tests must be performed with the DUT completely de-energized and isolated from its power system. Testing will involve energizing the DUT through the Midas Micro, which can produce dangerous and life-threatening voltages and current levels. Extreme care and safety measures must be taken to avoid contact with the DUT and Midas Micro connections during testing. To begin, first connect the green and yellow safety ground cable to the Midas Micro. After the unit is properly grounded, connect the remaining test leads and high voltage output cables. Finally, connect the mains power input connection. This should always be the last step in setting up the instrument. Once the unit is powered on, the user must read and confirm important safety information. The Midas Micro has three modes of operation, guide, basic, or advanced mode. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will select guide mode. Next, select the type of transformer to test. We will use a two winding transformer as an example. Then, select C and tan delta in all relevant test parameters. When performing these measurements, the low voltage terminals should be shorted together on one side of the transformer, while the high voltage terminals should be shorted together on the other side. To connect the Midas Micro to our transformer, first connect the high voltage supply cable to the high voltage winding that we just shorted together. Next, connect input A to the low voltage windings, which we've also just shorted together. Finally, connect the high voltage ground to the grounded transformer tank. Before starting the test, check that your test area is free of any hazards. Then, hold down the safety switch and click the high voltage on button. Note that the warning light turns on when high voltage is engaged. This is for added safety to both the operator and others in the area. After each measurement, the Midas Micro will prompt the user to confirm all connections to the device under test for the next measurement. Advanced mode is also available for users that want to create a custom sequence or have a special application not covered in the guide and basic modes. After all tests are complete, results are displayed in either numerical or graphical form. By using our data acquisition software, users have the option to save the results via USB or print the results with the integrated thermal printer. Once the necessary information has been recorded, you can end the test by powering the system off. For safety, use a grounding stick to discharge the device under test prior to removing connections. Disconnect all test leads from the DUT before disconnecting from the Midas Micro. The green and yellow safety ground cables should be the last leads disconnected from the Midas Micro. To recap, define the test. Power on the Midas Micro. Using the guide mode, select your device under test, the desired test to perform, and test parameters. Set up the test area. Follow the pop-up diagram to make the correct connections for your first measurement. Prior to starting the test, make sure the area is clear of all unnecessary personnel and obstructions. Perform the test. Step through the guide mode until all measurements are complete, making reconnections when prompted. Analysis. View your data in graphical or numerical form in the Analysis tab. Here you can compare against previous data, saving the results via USB, or print the results via the onboard printer. Complete the test. Power off the Midas Micro. For safety, use a grounding stick to discharge the device under test prior to removing connections. Disconnect all test leads from the DUT before disconnecting from the Midas Micro. The safety ground cables should be the last leads disconnected from the unit. Today's Midas Micro is the smallest and most compact insulation diagnosis tool on the market. Inquire today and we would be happy to provide you with a free quote.